Hey guys. This is a tutorial on how I make my GFX. Here is an example of my GFXs. You need the load character plugin. First I got a user from my comments. Make sure you spawn R15 and not R6. Once you load your avatar, move it up so you can see the whole avatar body. Then go back to plugins and you need the free animation editor plugin and select your avatar's torso. It will come up with this and you can select your avatar's body parts to move them into a pose you like. I'm just going to speed this part up. Once you have a pose you, like select your avatar here. Then anchor your avatar to get the pose to save. It will say you will lose in saved progress but just press OK. Then select your avatar and right, click on it and select export selection. Open Blender Lightroom, if you don't have it ill. Leave a download link in the description. Go to file and select import and make sure you select OBJ. Press this camera icon and then, go to view and walk navigation. Move the camera around with, WASD keys until you find, a position you like. Then select your avatar and go, to the checkered circle thin. Then scroll down and use these, settings to make it glossy. If you want to change the color of the lighting then select this and select the checker ball and click on these to change the color. Then in the top left select render, then render image. It takes about a minute to finish rendering. Once it's rendered go to image and save as. Then open you photo editing app. I use After Effects but any website like Canva or Photopia work also. You can get After Effects for free from FileCR.com. It is safe it's where I got my After Effects and Premiere Pro from. Import your render from Blender into After Effects. Then drag it into this space. Then import a background you can find backgrounds on Pinterest. Press S on your keyboard for scale. To change the color search, hue saturation, drag it onto your background and you can move these to change the color and saturation of your clip. I forgot to say this earlier, but make sure your composition is only one frame long to change, it press command plus K and make the duration 0 hour 0 minute and 1 second. Import more overlays you can get these all of Pinterest. To get rid of the black background copy me. You can also add drop shadow if you want. Add as many overlays as you want. You can pre-compose all the overlays in the background. If you want, right click to pre-compose. Pre-compose the avatar. Then press Ctrl plus D on your keyboard to duplicate it. For this next part I use a plugin called Deep Glow. You can get it free from Vasher on TikTok and they have a super easy tutorial on how to install it. Select this pen tool and trace the inside of your avatar. Search Deep Glow and add it to the layer you traced. Then press M on your keyboard and check the invert box. Then drag up the feather amount. Then click the required for text box. Now you have an outer glow on your avatar. To export it click composition in the top right and add to render queue. Change it to jet. And choose where you want to, save it then press render.
Thank you for watching I hope, this helped. I will make a tutorial soon for, my 3D text and I also, have a Christmas giveaway. Soon so follow my TikTok and, Instagram Cosmic Speaks to enter. Have a wonderful day. Bye.